How to pack and move your bird. Moving can be a stressful experience for most people, and it can be particularly difficult for your pet bird. Traveling long distances and acclimating to a new place can cause a bird serious anxiety, which can result in health problems. In order to make the moving experience a pleasant one, you will need to plan ahead and make the necessary arrangements to transport your bird by land or air. This will ensure that your bird is happy and healthy when it reaches its new home. Packing and preparing to move. Visit your veterinarian. Before you make any arrangements to move with your bird, you will need to have it checked out by a veterinarian. This will help you determine if it is healthy enough to travel. Your vet will evaluate your bird and likely provide you with tips to help it stay healthy during the move. Your doctor may suggest that you begin giving your bird immunity and digestion boosting supplements a month before you move. Complete your bird's paperwork. If you are moving internationally or to another state, you will likely have to get certain health certifications. You will need to visit your vet as well as a local government official to complete the proper paperwork. Make sure you visit your vet and have all necessary paperwork completed ahead of time to ensure that your bird can move with you. If you are moving from the U.S. to another country, you will need to complete the Animal and Plant Health Inspection Service APHIS, Form 7001. It will need to be signed by both the vet and a representative of the U.S. Department of Agriculture USDA, which can take 10 days to obtain. You will also need a Convention on International Trade in Endangered Species of Wild Fauna and Flora sites permit. This can take three weeks to obtain and you will need it for any return visits. If you are moving abroad or bringing pet birds to the United States, be sure to check with the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service to make sure you have met all of its requirements. 3. Help your bird adjust to new carriers. If you are using new carriers for transporting your bird, have it spend some time getting used to the new environment before moving day. At least a month before you move, let your bird walk around inside of the new carrier and spend some time exploring it. This will help it be less anxious about being in the container when it comes time to move. Make sure the carrier is big enough to accommodate your bird. This should also help your bird go into the carrier when it is time to move. Pack non-essential supplies separately. When you are packing your bird's toys and supplies, try to only bring the essentials like its food. Many of your bird's favorite toys, perches, and other items will need to be packed away in another box for safety reasons. Plus, if you are using a carrier, there will be much less space, so you will have to pack strategically. Avoid putting any toys, bowls or perches in the carrier that might fly around during turbulence or an accident. Get your bird into the carrier. If you have introduced your bird to the carrier and allowed it to spend some time in it, getting your animal ready to move should be much easier. If your bird is not trained to hand perch, place the carrier in its cage with some food inside of it to coax the bird in. If your bird is able to hand perch, simply carry it over to the carrier and place it in when it is time to go. Consider an animal transport company. If you are moving a long distance and do not want to have to worry about your bird, you may want to hire someone to transport it for you. Some moving companies offer this service. If yours does not, they may be able to refer you to a transport service. Depending on how far you are moving, the animal movers will fly or drive your bird to your new home. The moving company may require that you ship your bird in a specific carrier. Depending on the service, they may also feed your bird or ask you to put some feed in the carrier for the trip.